Hey everybody. I'm going to do a yellow resin tray and it's going to, I'm going to still do something funky kind of in the Lily Pulitzer inspired direction. So today I'm going to use Fast Set equal parts A and B. Mix it for three minutes and you have about 10 to 15 minutes max working time with Fast Set. So that's what makes it great for doing like the first layer of resin, painting a little bit on it, letting it dry, and then doing the final coat. You can do it in layers and it you can do it in a matter of hours, which is the beauty of it. It warms up. It does not smell good. And you have to work fast. So that's the key points for fast set resin. Make sure to wear your mask, either a full face mask or goggles and a respirator over your nose and mouth. Always be safe. I've got two little crystal knobs with silver um, and I will be setting them in for the handles or knobs. So I'm going to put those aside for now. I'm going to mix about 12 ounces or so of resin. I've got a bowl that I'm going to put a clear coat in so I need an extra ounce or so for that and I've got some little funky earrings that I'm going to pour the remainder of the yellow resin. It's, this is going to be a yellow bright and cheerful tray. I'm going to be using Counterculture Thunderbolt Dispersion color which is very highly pigmented and if I decide to, I might add just a touch of white to make it a little bit more opaque, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be very opaque and not very, I don't want it transparent at all. I don't want to be able to see through it. I'm going to put my mask on and get busy mixing. Okay, I'm starting my stopwatch, but I'm still mixing just a little bit. And I've realized that I've got probably 18 ounces. So this will be 12, 14 ish. I need an ounce or so for my bowl to coat it. So I'm going to have plenty of resin here. <laughs> I hope you can understand me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about 5 ounces, maybe 4, put that aside, mix the yellow. I'm still leaving my mask on a little bit. That resin <laughs> started smoking and it wouldn't spread and that it works on here. But you have only you have under 10 minutes to work with it. It becomes so hot and it starts to smoke if you leave it sitting in a cup. So don't leave your resin sitting in a cup for more than 10 minutes. <laughs> Learned my lesson here. So I'm just waiting on this to put my knobs in. And if I have to, I can wait till it's hard and I can use clear nail polish for glue, which is what I typically do. But I'm going to keep checking it. I'm going to keep my mask on because of these smoking things going on. So you can't put your knobs in while it's too wet because they'll sink. So you've got to get kind of perfect timing on this. This is going to have to have a major overhaul on a coat of resin. This is going to take some work. 
I'm just going to let it set up and then I'll come back and glue the knobs in. I don't want to be around the fumes indefinitely. I'll give it about an hour and then I'll use clear nail polish to put my knobs into the resin on either end. Okay, it's been about 50 minutes and usually what happens is it's it's you can touch it up to about the last inch. Actually, I can touch both of that. It's already set up. It's still very warm, but I'm going to go ahead and put my clear nail polish down to glue these knobs. So it's just clear fingernail polish. Instead of using a glue, I just use this. <coughs> Then I'll do I'll do the painting. Then I'll put a clear coat over the painting and that will seal this the knobs in like really really well. So this is like a temporary adhesive until the rest of the resin gets poured onto it. So I'll let those sit and dry, then we'll be back to paint and then clear cut it. Okay, so I got all my yellow stuff together. I had poured some earlier and before I did this and so I've got some you can tell that the ones I did this time are a little brighter. These are a little deeper. You know, there's some variation in the yellows and that's fine. No worries, because no person is probably going to buy two sets of the same colored earrings, right? I'm going to try to do colorful flowers. Today I'm going to use mostly golden, but I've got some Liquitex. I'm going to put down a white base coat of some thick tube paint so that it's not transparent looking. Zoom a little bit more for you. And I do have some leftover resin that I put some hot pink in. I'm going to just do something pretty on this. I've got one turquoise one. So while I'm painting, you'll see it fast speed. You'll see me doing those as well, just to let you know what's going on. And whatever colors I don't have, I might mix. And... Um, I usually use colors pre-mixed and I can just go right to it so I'm not used to mixing my paints all the time so we'll just see how that pans out. So I'm going to speed paint basically through this. I'm going to uh, open up this pack of blue squid art brushes so I'm going to turn my music on and just get busy painting and enjoy myself and you can have fun watching. And I did want to say that I had someone request some yellow with red flowers earrings. So I may do several sets that way and I may switch up colors and do different colored flowers. But I know I do need to do some in case she would like to have something like that. So here we go.
Okay, so here are all the pieces that were jewelry. These could either be really large earrings or there's two pink sets. It could be an earring and a necklace pendant together. These I would add some little kind of a drop chain and make uh, the circle part messed up so I had to throw those out. Uh, there's some that are turquoise with orange. These little round things, they could be magnets, whatever. A um, couple of little turquoise earrings there. Some sun pieces that I just hand painted and two round ones, two yellow angel wings. I had somebody that requested red and yellow, so I'm going to send pictures of these to her. So that was just the, um, the jewelry part, okay? So now I have the tray with two coasters and then just two individual coasters that are hot pink and just you know, one each color. And I'm going to put a clear coat over all this painted stuff to seal it in, make it heat resistant, and a nice glossy shine, glassy finish with the uh, resin. So I'll probably need, probably, say four ounces or so to top coat this, and roughly a half ounce or so on each of these coasters. I'll mix up about six or seven ounces total to cut these and get them finished up. Be back. Okay, taking my mask off. I've mixed three minutes. I'm going to mix just a little bit longer than I'll flip coat everything for you. I started my stopwatch to keep an eye on my time because this is fast set and it'll be set up in 10 minutes or so. mask down so I can talk. It's been about nine minutes, but I'm going to move this to a level place and cover it. Okay, so it's been a while and I'm going to unmold. These are just fun and funky, simple, not anything elaborate. So So here it is. The two coasters. 
and then just the spare ones. So fun and funky. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and enjoyed watching it and just learning something different. So comment below, tell me what you think, and I'll see you on the next video. Love you all. Bye-bye.